I Can Only Be Me, written by Leslie Green, illustrated by Chris Padovano, narrated by Andrea Brown. When I was born, my parents said, who does she look like? My mommy says, she looks like me. My dad says, no, she looks like me. As I grew into a toddler, a family member says, hey, she looks like Aunt Boozy. I stand there wondering, who's that, Susie? I don't remember a Boozy. Look, she's looking curious. They try to explain who she is. I'm only two, so what do I do? I'm five now. I am going to kindergarten. Not very happy about it. My classmates say, she looks like a midget. I said, what's that? They look at me and laugh. <laughs> I walk away wounded and puzzled. I go home and ask my mom and dad, what is a midget? Mom looks at me and says, it's a very short person. I say, oh, okay, and run away. I think she just didn't want to get into details or make me feel worse. Time passes quickly, and now I am eight, awkward, shy, and afraid to go by other kids that way. I know they will tease and ridicule me, so I go in the opposite direction just to get away. I'm tired of people telling me who I am. I am going to avoid them if I can. Along the way, I run into other kids who try to tell me again who I am. Here she comes, Boney Maroney. I run to get home as fast as I can. Feeling hurt again, I say to myself, will I ever have any friends? I'm 10 now. As I go on my way, I meet two sisters. I have to prove myself to them. I had to fight the little one who was bigger than me. I did because I couldn't act like a sissy. Afterwards, we became the best of friends and then we fell out because we moved again. I'm 13 now. Filling my oats got some courage, and now nothing floats my boat. I could not care less about my flaws. What are flaws anyway? My whole life I had been told who and what I was. I'm 15 now, and I know who I am. I look back and found out that I shaped my personality according to my physical and emotional state of mind. Oh my, I have work to do. I decipher through all the riffraff and the negativity. I'm 18 now on the right path. I created a timeline of my life. I realized I was so messed up because I let other people define who I was. Now I'm me, insightful, inspirational, and able to enlighten all people I come in contact with. Here are some things I would leave you with. Affirmations. Affirmation one, may you find out who you are and share yourself with the world. Affirmation two, never let anyone define who you are. Affirmation three, give yourself positive affirmations every day. Affirmation four, most importantly, the creator made you perfectly perfect in every way.